What's up, everybody? We got some free for all on Favela, Modern Warfare 2. And uh, for this video, I'm not gonna be raging about anything. I'm not gonna be fucking talking shit. I'm not gonna be hunting boosters or any of that shit. What I want to talk about is Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. And Call of Duty 4 as well. And Infinity Ward as a fucking whole. So you got Call of Duty 4. Now, Call of Duty 4 was a great game. It was great simply because it was simple. You had some guns, you had a map, you had a few perks, it didn't really make much of a difference to anything. And uh, you had 3, 5, and 7 on the kill streak for everybody. And that was it. And it was good, and it was simple, and it was fast, and it was action, and it was nobody really camped. Well, they do now. If I, if I go back and play Call of Duty 4 now on the Xbox, I don't know about the PS3, but on the Xbox, all it is, is fucking campers and hackers. Why you would hack a game is beyond me, but whatever. I can't possibly understand why anybody would want to hack a game, especially an old game. I can understand somebody wanting to hack Modern Warfare 3, but to hack an old game that's not relevant to anything, I can't understand it. The only reason to be playing Call of Duty 4 now is just to have some fun, not to be hacking, so whatever. But it was great, it was fast, it was simple. <clears throat> then you move on to Modern Warfare 2. Now, Modern Warfare 2 is a tricky one. Infinity Ward, they sort of did it right and they sort of fucked up at the same time. Just imagine this, you've got Modern Warfare 2. The game exactly how it is right now. How it's always been. Take away One Man Army. Take away Danger Close. And uh, Commando, don't take it away because I really like the pro version of the perk. Change, I don't know, just change it so it's not uh, a knife. You know, so you don't have the uh, extra knife range. Take that away, change it with something else and keep the pro version how it is. And uh, this wouldn't just be the best Call of Duty. See, that's that's an example of a fucking Commando for you right there. But um, that wouldn't it wouldn't just be the best Call of Duty ever. It would be the best game ever. Well, best shooter ever. For, let's say that. Uh, hands down. And then you move on to Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> now, when Modern Warfare 3 was announced, what I expected was Modern Warfare 2 with the bad things taken away. That's what I expected. That's what I think. That's what everybody expected. And uh, if you're one of them that expected that, like me, then uh, well, we're dumbasses. We forgot who we're dealing with: Infinity Ward and, of course, Sledgehammer. Now, I heard online that Infinity Ward only did the uh, single-player campaign and the Spec Ops survival, and Sledgehammer did the multiplayer. Now, if that is true then that explains 100% of the problems with Modern Warfare 3. Sledgehammer will be 100% to blame. Because the campaign, the Modern Warfare 3 campaign is possibly, next to Modern Warfare 2 is the best single player campaign I've ever played on Call of Duty game. I mean shooters, whether it's Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, Gears of War, well no, not Gears of War, Gears of War has always had a very good campaign. But shooters, generally, don't have good campaigns, especially shooters that have very strong online elements like this, like Battlefield, like Crisis. Uh, Crisis 2, I hated the campaign, I thought it was bullshit, but very good multiplayer. Unless you had some fucking asshole with a cloak, which kind of ruined everything, but, you know. People are always gonna abuse shit. So, I don't know if that's true. I can't really see it. I, I mean, as far as I know, in Sledgehammer were just there to make up some numbers at Infinity Ward after what happened after Modern Warfare 2. We all know Activision sued Infinity Ward or whatever. Whatever, we're not going to get into that. But, uh... <clears throat> the main problem, in my mind, with Modern Warfare 3 is the fact that they took away Juggernaut, they took away stopping power. So, in the Tier 2 of the perks, your only real option, if you want to have a useful perk that's going to help you out, is uh, Assassin. And when you wear an Assassin, 
Now, the correct way to use the perk is you're supposed to use Assassin, stay off the radar, stay invisible, to rush, to help you rush. But that's not how everybody uses Assassin. We all know anybody using Assassin, 99% of the time is a camping little bitch. We all know that. And then they fucked up Sleight of Hand as well. They should have kept Sleight of Hand how it always was. Fast reload and the um, aim down your sights faster for the pro version. And they didn't do that. It was fast reload and faster weapon switch, which is bullshit. Which means I now have to use Sleight of Hand and Quick Draw to get the same fucking effect. And that is, no, I'm sorry. Don't want it. Do not want it. In Modern Warfare 2, it was Sleight of Hand was faster reload. Faster down the site for the perk, uh, for the pro perk, and uh, same in Black Ops. And I was hoping it was going to be the same in Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3, because in Black Ops I never really used Sleight of Hand very much in Modern Warfare 2. But in Black Ops, Sleight of Hand definitely became my favorite perk. I mean, it got to a point in Black Ops where uh, I cannot play without Sleight of Hand. Without Sleight of Hand on Black Ops, Sleight of Hand Pro on Black Ops, I will lose. Every gun on gun fucking battle. Uh, every fucking gun on gun exchange, I'll lose it. I'll get sprayed down. And, uh. For a while, it wasn't like that all the time. I got used to it. Like, after prestiging and stuff, I got used to not having Slide of Hand Pro for a while. I didn't play as well, but I, I got through it. But, uh, it definitely became my favorite perk. And, uh, Lightweight. Lightweight's not even in Modern Warfare 3, is it? I can't remember. I haven't played it for like four months or some shit. But um yeah, you had options in the tier two. And if you didn't want stop and power in Modern Warfare 2, if you didn't want lightweight, you could always use cold blooded as well. So I mean Juggernaut, as much as people complain about it, it only ever seems to be snipers that complain about it. As much as people complain about Juggernaut, what it actually does is promote movement. Because you have that little bit more, you can take that little bit more damage. It promotes movement. It doesn't promote sitting in a corner. You're not going to get any benefit from Juggernaut by sitting in a corner. Like you would, uh, stopping power you're going to get benefit regardless of how you're playing. Same with Cold Blooded. Cold Blooded you're going to get it. Look at this shit. How, what the fuck just happened there? <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck just happened there? But uh, yeah, it's kind of a boring commentary. But um, just a few things that were on my mind. And this... I won the game, so, you know, I'm happy. It wasn't the best score in the world, 30 and 8, I think it was. But, uh, I won the game, that's all that really matters. But this is the end of this gameplay. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.